Toby, and today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2016. On Wednesdays, we discuss Orthodox issues and traditions. And this week, we have a question. I was asked by Elise, what do the Orthodox believe? Well, Elise, today we are going to start our answer to your question. It's a good question. The Eastern Orthodox faith is the second largest Christian denomination in the world. But it's quite small in North America. So not a lot of people are, are aware of the Orthodox churches in their communities and what the Orthodox believe. Today's and the coming week's discussions will help to get you acquainted with the Orthodox faith. Before we get into our discussion, let's say our opening prayer, though. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and minds that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Okay, today we're going to start our discussion of what the Eastern Orthodox believe with a little history. After the descent of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, the Christian Church began to organize itself, as can be found in the book of Acts. First bishop, or patriarch as we call them, in the church in Jerusalem was St. James, the brother of Jesus. The church then expanded north into Antioch, where St. Peter became that church's first bishop. St. Peter would work there for about 15 years. The church continued to expand northward, up into what would become Constantinople, and today it's called Istanbul. St. Andrew the Apostle would become the first bishop there. Later, St. Peter traveled to Rome and became the first bishop of the Roman Church. St. Peter's disciple, translator, and secretary, St. Mark, would write his gospel while in Rome, it is believed. St. Mark would eventually move to Alexandria in Egypt, where he became that church's first bishop. These are the original five churches, Jerusalem, Antioch, Constantinople, Rome, and Alexandria. They were and continued to be Orthodox churches, with the exception of the church in Rome. The Roman church left the Orthodox church in the year 1054 as a result of the Great Schism. I've made a point to mention the first bishops or patriarchs of these churches very intentionally. Within the Orthodox church and the Roman church, Apostolic succession is important. Each bishop in the Orthodox Church can trace his holy lineage back to the apostles and the original patriarchs. This helps to maintain our, our adherence to original principles and beliefs. Now just a little more history and we'll move on to the Orthodox beliefs. In the year 325, the first ecumenical council was held in Nicaea, which is in modern Turkey. In the year 381, the Second Ecumenical Council was held in Constantinople, now Istanbul. These councils formulated the Nicene Creed. The Nicene Creed is our statement of what we believe. And here is the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us, men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he arose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and who spoke to the prophets. 
in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. In the coming weeks, Wednesdays, we are going to pick the creed apart piece by piece so we will all understand what it says and what we believe. What is important to understand from today's discussion is the Orthodox Church is the original Christian Church and is still in the world as the second largest Christian denomination. Today's Orthodox bishops are direct successors to the Apostles. That is, they have apostolic succession. By extension, all baptized and chrismated confirmed Orthodox Christians can trace their religious roots directly to the Apostles. I was chrismated into the Orthodox Church by our bishop. My bishop can trace his apostolic succession back to St. Peter, the first bishop of Antioch. Think of it. I can trace my Orthodox roots through my bishop right back to St. Peter. Next week, we're going to get right into the Nicene Creed, what it says and what it means. I hope to see you next week for part two of what the Orthodox believe. One last thought. St. Tikhon says, when you read the Bible, you are praying. Read your Bibles every day. And if you can't, then listen to the Gospel Minute right here with me every day. Now let's say a prayer before we finish. Our prayer is from the book of Psalms. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God be gracious unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us, that we may know upon the earth thy way, among all the nations thy salvation. Let all the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. Let the nations be glad and rejoice, for thou shalt judge peoples with uprightness, and nations shalt thou guide upon the earth. Let all the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. The earth hath yielded her fruit, let God our God bless us, let God bless us, and let all the ends of the earth fear him. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Have a good week, everyone, and may God bless us all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.